LRIT. Long Range Identification and Tracking is an international identification and tracking system of ships. A ship at sea sends its position report every six hours, and this report is received by a telecommunication satellite. The satellite forwards the report to shore based stations, which complete the report further in stages and send it to the national data center of a contracting government. In India, DGS receives the position reports of all its ships four times a day, every day. The main purpose of the LRIT ship position reports is to enable a contracting government to obtain ship identity and location information in sufficient time to evaluate the security risk posed by a ship off its coast. It also helps in search and rescue operation. VDR or SVDR a VDR or Voyage Data Recorder is an instrument installed on a ship to continuously record and store vital information in a secure and retrievable form relating to the position, movement, physical status, command, and control of a ship over the period. This recording is recovered and made use of for investigation in events of any accidents. It is the ship's black box similar to one found on an airplane. Banvas. The purpose of a bridge navigational watch alarm system is to monitor bridge activity and detect operator disability which could lead to marine accidents. The system monitors the awareness of the officer of the watch and automatically alerts the master or another qualified OOW if for any reason the OOW becomes incapable of performing his or her duties. Banvas warnings are given in the case of incapacity of the watchkeeping officer due to accident, sickness or in the event of a security breach. Example, piracy and or hijacking unless decided by the master only, the Banvas shall remain operational at all times. Stevenson Screen it is a meteorological instrument consisting of a wooden box having slats and dry bulb and wet bulb thermometers fitted inside the box. The wet bulb thermometer has a few strands of cotton wick attached to its bulb and immersed in a small container filled with distilled water. The difference in readings of temperatures from these two thermometers enables a mariner to find the relative humidity and or dew point of air. Whirling psychrometer. It consists of a light wooden frame pivoted to revolve around a handle. The frame has two identical thermometers. One the dry and the other wet. The wet bulb thermometer has a single layer of thin cloth sock around its bulb. Before using, the cloth sock is dampened by dropping only one drop of distilled water. The frame is whirled in open air for at least two minutes and the temperatures from two thermometers are read off. Using these readings, the relative humidity and or dew point of air are established from the given meteorological table by a mariner. Barometer it is an instrument for measuring atmospheric pressure. Most merchant ships carry the aneroid barometer because it is more robust and compact than the mercury barometer. It is also very sensitive to slightest changes of pressure. Places at sea level have a standard atmospheric pressure. Any changes of pressure at a place where the high or low brings about changes to its weather condition. A low pressure indicates bad weather and high pressure is associated most of the time with good weather. The average atmospheric pressure at the Earth's surface is about 1013 MB. Barograph. It is an aneroid barometer which gives a continuous record of atmospheric pressure on a chart. The barograph is always set to GMT, not to ship's time. Anemometer. All merchant ships are fitted with anemometers. An anemometer is a device used for measuring the speed of wind.